every day more and more people are joining the adventure to work on technologies and build teams and create new ideas that pull carbon from the air. What I've seen through air miners is tons of people though that are showing up that are curious and they want to understand this stuff and they're not really sure how to start. Uh, I think there's a, there could be kind of an intimidating gap between the you know, person that's a, a co-founder of a direct air capture company and somebody who's discovering it today. I've been lucky enough to see some people make that leap and, and dive in and, and kind of do all this research themselves. And so what I've helped to create is called Air Mining 101. And the idea is, how do you help somebody who's, who's interested in carbon removal? They're, they're getting up to speed on the terms and the science and all the technology. How do you help that person get to the point where they, they kind of get it? And as a caveat, like you don't have to get it all I don't think anybody really does. The changing climate is kind of this this hyper object that nobody can see the whole thing. Everybody can just see a puzzle piece. So if you get to the point where you can see a piece of it, then you're you're doing pretty good. So this uh, Air Mining 101 guide is uh, originally written by uh, Dvorit Mausner from Many Labs and Carbon 180. Uh, And then I've uh, kind of fine tuned it uh, since then and other people have started to started to contribute pieces to it and I'll be uh, so I'm gonna walk you through it I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this if you're an expert if you already know this stuff think of this as a, a tool to help you with your conversation with other people so maybe your your friends or your family you're talking to them about uh, about direct air capture or resorbance or, or maybe you're talking with them about just underground carbon storage or even just that how do you pull carbon from the air in in general uh, so this Air Mining 101 guide, I think, is really useful for for experts and uh, and beginners alike. It is, uh, we have a a reading list, we have a list of events and and conveners, so you can come and meet people and and, uh, watch and learn stuff. There's newsletters and podcasts, so you can stay up to date on the latest stuff. From a startup perspective, there's accelerators and funders and and some perks. Uh, So if you're interested in getting kind of more involved, you can can check out those pieces. Uh, but the reading list is is really interesting because it it's you know it's an opportunity to, to read what different people think about carbon removal. Again, nobody has this figured out, and this reading list is pieces of you know one person who has a particular point of view that says here's here's how they think about it. Uh, and so I really appreciate uh, all these all these documents. Uh, in particular, uh, John Sanchez, who is a undergrad at Harvard, just published his own reading list that's specific to direct air capture Uh, and so it just got added to the air mining 101 guide yesterday so if you want to check that out it's under the under the reading list tab Uh, and that's a particular focus just on direct air capture carbon removal is a is a big topic that has to do with storage and biological and natural kind of sequestration it has to do with carbon credits direct air capture point source capture lots of different stuff If in particular you're interested in direct air capture, check that out. He's also got some great YouTube videos that just went up, uh, really doing a deep dive on the technology uh, from a a chemistry standpoint. So that's on the reading list. You can also find, so there's these, I'm just looking through categories, there's carbon removal solutions, uh, there's carbon tech, thinking about business models. It's kind of an inherent part of of the air mining story is how do we make valuable things uh, out of carbon from the air? Uh, How do we find business models there? Newsletters and podcasts. Again, this is stuff is it's it's useful for you if you're if you're new to this topic and you want to get to know all the terms and find out exactly what's happening. But also, if you're already an expert, it's a way to uh, stay up to date. But it's also a way to give other people these links and, and let them know, hey, if you want to if you want to hear about the latest news or you want to get these um, uh, these podcasts or, or videos, you can come here. Um, I find this stuff pretty useful myself, just in the sense of like it's it's a it makes it easy to stay up to date on uh, on what's happening. So we've got uh, newsletters uh, like this one. We've got the carbon copy from Carbon 180. Uh, we've got the carbon dioxide removal group by Greg Rao. Um, now on podcasts, obviously you should check out the Nori podcast uh, as well as My Climate Journey. That's a uh, it's it's more broad than just carbon removal, uh, but they do have a great interview with with uh, Noah from Carbon 180. Um, yeah, so that's that's newsletters and podcasts, events and conveners. That's uh, we've got the conference up there. If you haven't seen the Airliners conference, we've got the videos posted on YouTube for you to watch. Um, 
But these are, you know, kind of bigger organizations that are in some way connected to carbon removal or air mining. Um, so you can check those out just to get a sense of, and if, if anything, just to appreciate that, you know, nobody has this figured out. No one person sees this whole thing and gets it. These are all the puzzle pieces. And so it can feel overwhelming to, to dump out that box of puzzle pieces. Uh, but the reality is you don't have to have this all figured out. You don't have to put the, the whole puzzle together. Uh, really just dive in and like pick out something. If one of these things appeals to you, great. There's no, um, there's no one perfect resource. All these things are uh, at best a, a particular point of view from somebody. Um, and I think some of these are, have really captured that. I think uh, Heidi Lim's post, uh, We Need to Talk About Carbon Removal, is one of my favorites because it has that clear point of view, it has a clear audience, and it makes it a great uh, place to start. Um, so check out this Air Mining 101 guide. Uh, we're adding more stuff to it. I want to get the Air Miners conferences on there. Um, if you want to check those out, there's uh, a great YouTube video. As I'm scrolling through, I'm recognizing one of my favorites, which is uh, Beyond the Gigaton Silver Bullet by Matt Lucas um, from Carbon Tech Labs. Uh, that's up on Medium. I love that post because it's it's something that I personally struggle with, but I see a lot of people struggle with too, is that uh, it's, it's experts, it's beginners, get stuck in this gap of like, oh, but like my idea or my solution doesn't solve climate change all by itself. Oh my gosh, like if anything, if you take anything from this guide, uh, take that everybody has one piece of the puzzle. You probably don't get more than one, unfortunately. Uh, and if you feel like you need to have all the puzzle pieces laid out perfectly on your table, I will talk to you in a decade because <laughs> it's just, it's, I just see people disappear and never come back. Um, so find your puzzle piece and, and, and grab onto it and, and run ahead with it. Uh, Beyond the Gigaton Solar Bullet is uh, is, is a really way to, a, a great way to, 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 that speaks to that. Um, not sure if that was the intention, but hey, that's what I, that's what I took from it. Um, I'm trying to see if I had any other, other favorite, uh, favorite things. Carbon Copy, Carbon 180 is definitely a go-to in terms of, um, weekly newsletter that has just really every single thing that's happening in the, in the industry. If you're really into, you know, reading all the different, uh, news articles and, and stuff like that. Look, this is important. If you're curious about carbon removal, but you feel like it's it's bigger than you can understand, that's okay. That never goes away. But what you can do is to step into it, to start reading, to start talking with your friends about it. If you can navigate that path, if you can figure out how to connect your curiosity to reading an article, listening to a podcast, sharing it with your friends and family, that is a path that thousands, tens of thousands, millions, even billions of people need to walk. The, the, the world needs to know about carbon removal. And if you're curious about it, but you don't, that's okay. You can, you can bridge that gap by checking out the Air Mining 101 guide and let me know what you think of it. I'd love to hear if there's, if there's articles that you've come across that were really pivotal in your own understanding. Uh, send those to me so I can, so I can add them. I'll tell you that like I've, there's a lot of resources in there for me personally. Probably five or ten percent of the links are the ones that I pick out and say, okay, you have to start here. The rest are really good supplements, and they kind of can collide with somebody if, if they're in you know particular exp expertise in terms of uh, economics or manufacturing or, uh, or or business or science. Um, but yeah, pick out your favorites. Let me know what resonates with you. Let me know if there's stuff that's that, that you like that that isn't in there yet. Uh, and share this with other people, share this with your friends, share this with your family, try to have conversations about air mining and, and see how it goes. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what your favorite article in Air Mining 101 is.